Thank you, Jesus, for moving me in at all of you. In the name of Yeshua of Nazareth, my Lord and King, I pray. Amen. All right. I put a telephone emoji as the title for this because um, whatever this is going to be, I just know. I remember the Lord reminded me of when we were kids, me and my friend, I'm not going to say her name, um, from grade school. We always share good news with each other. And that's what this video is about, good news. And I just know that every time we had something good to share or, or, or some great happens, not even happenings because we wouldn't go anywhere as kids. We used to mail each other candy. I would get, we would go, whenever my mom would go to the store, I would always ask her for some Jolly Ranchers and whatever candy I liked. I would put in, we would put the candy in an envelope and mail it to each other for the summer. We would do it like twice a week. So we would get candy to each other. She would say, I have a good kind of candy. I don't know if you had it before, I'm gonna mail it to you. We would ask our mama for a stamp and mail it. Well, this is the type of message. This is gonna be just a letter from the Lord to us. I was outside and as I was doing my workout um, and I was doing the stretching part of it, I was bent down and as I was looking, I saw, you know, there was a patch of grass right under me, under me, but the Lord led my eyes to go beneath the grass to where I actually saw the dirt underneath the grass and I saw a trail of ants. To and fro they were going, to and fro, to and fro. And then there was some that would go off to the side and they had other work to do and then they would join back again and go to and fro. And I first thought like, wow, Lord, I didn't even notice they had ants in this. I just overlooked it. They were working in the shadows. They were doing work that I know through centuries of this earth having ants that when it gets cold and crazy or flooded or whatever condition, by that time, these ants will already have been in their their habitation with their food and their whatever is set to come in the future. They are already going to be prepared because they're working right now, even though I didn't see it at first. Sometimes God has you doing things that people won't see at all. Do it anyway. Just do it because you don't know who you're going to be blessing by doing and laying that seed today. Laying that seed today might not have anything to do with you, but all together to be for the good of God's children. And to be serving God means you serve others, which means it's not always about you. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Psalm 115 and 1 says that. It says that, um, not unto me, but um, the devil is busy today, but I'm going to keep going. So when he says not, when we say not unto me and not, but unto you be the glory, it is telling you that what we do is not for us, it's for God. You do it to God. You're doing it for God. When you're feeding the homeless, when you're, in, when you're counseling somebody, when you're nourishing and nurturing somebody, you're doing it for God and not for them. The second thing I noticed is, because he will, it, he will bless you for this, even though you're working in the background in the dark. God will shine the light at the proper time. And then and as I lift up and I was in position looking above, I saw a sign in the sky. He brought back the memory of the Red Sea, the scriptures of the Red Sea being separated. These clouds, if you, if God's been having you look to the sky more often, be obedient and do it. You're going to eventually see signs in the sky that only God can do. Well, these the sky, the northern sky was taken up by these two huge clouds that looked like rolling water going up. It, I can't describe it. Oh my goodness. And it was a separation in between. That's two things I saw. One is God is separating the sheep from the goats. The sheep he takes with him. The goats are going to be left aside. The sheep are the ones that follow him. And then I also saw that that was the Red Sea. I mean, it was enormous. Pay attention to the sky. So with that being said, if he did that for the Israelites back then and parted the sea, can you imagine? People say it over and over. We read the scripture over and over, but it's hard to, to know exactly the, the in-depthness of what that means. Because what happens is that water, the Bible says, was they were walking through it. At some point they had torches. So you could see through the water and see these ocean marine, these huge animals, huge whales just swimming by you. And you're walking on dry ground. God is the still, he's still the same. These miracles he's doing to instill within us the level of faith 
to know that the blood covenant that Jesus made on that cross by freeing us from death, from eternal death, is real. God wants us to taste and see his goodness in the earth, but not just for me and for you, but for the future and also for the people that don't know him. When you plant a seed of goodness into somebody's life that don't know him, they may not have any idea that it came from that place in your heart that God touched for you to do it. But it could be years later when it happens to them. Some people will never say thank you for you doing a good job for them or doing anything for them. But you're doing it for God, see? So what happens is when they remember, when God brings it to their memory in the perfect time, when they call and cry out, well, I did, they did this to me, they did that to me, or this other person, whoever may be doing what they did to you, do it to them later, he will bring up the memory of you doing that good thing to them and they didn't thank you. God brings people together by what he has us to do. Never question it. Just do it. You don't know who you're blessing. It may be their last few days and they need to receive that miracle. Just do it. I hope this has helped somebody as it has helped me to know that the God of miracles who parted the Red Sea, if you need him to sh give you a sign or to give you an, a, a push in your spirit, ask him. He says, asking you shall receive in Matthew 7 verse 7. Don't, don't get tired of doing good. The Bible says you don't get tired of doing good. You will be blessed. Do not. You will reap a reward. But we don't do it for the reward. When you love God, you realize you, in your heart, you're not doing it for anything other than to please him. To love God is to obey God. And that's the scripture. And I receive that because I understand his heart. And his, his, is in, because his heart is in his commandments. Because he knows those the very same commandments will free us. And he don't like to see us in bondage. Even if we don't understand it. I'm going to sing a medley of songs just really quickly to give God the glory. And I thank you for receiving this word. I thank you for Jesus giving this to us. Not unto me, <coughs> but unto you be all the glory. Amen. All right. Your grace and mercy has brought us through we're living this moment because of you and i want to thank you and praise you too because your grace and mercy has brought us through your grace and mercy has brought us through. We're living this moment because of you. And we want to thank you and praise you too. has brought me through my god is awesome he can move mountains keeps me in the valley honey from the rain my god is awesome heals me when i'm broken Strength when I am weak and forever he will reign. You are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome. Worthy is your name. You are awesome. Awesome, hallelujah, awesome, honey, in your reign, homie Jesus, we love you, Lord, I love you, Lord, hallelujah, yes, hallelujah. For your mercy never fails me. And all my days 
I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head. And I will sing of the goodness of God. Ooh, and all my life you have been faithful. Yes, you have. And all my life you have been so, so good. And every prayer that I am able, and I will sing of the goodness of God. Listen. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. When my life lay down, I'll surrender now. I'll give you everything, Lord, save me. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. Thank you for holding me, Jesus. Because all our life he has been faithful think back into your memories the time you didn't think you would make it and all your life he has been so so good and every breath that i and you are able we will sing of the goodness hallelujah for your goodness, praise you, Lord. For your goodness, pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. For your goodness, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And in closing, may the Lord bless thee and keep thee and make his beautiful face to shine upon, to, upon thee and to be gracious unto thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, there are many of us that are under spiritual attack, whether you know it or not. Ask the Lord to redeem, deliver, and give you peace. And when he does lead you in the direction of getting to that peace, don't give it back to the world and run back to the world with it. Sit with it for a while. Enjoy. You and God. That's who gave it to you. In the name of Jesus. That's who gave it to you. And then after you sit with it and receive it so the devil can't snatch it up from you so quickly, then that's when you share it. Sit with it first. Nourish your light and then share it. Because the devil ready to snuff it out. But I rebuke it now in the name of Jesus. Have a beautiful day.